bridge over here is El Paso on the US. That's Rio Grande. And this over here is Ciudad Juarez in Mexico. Now there's five bridges that connect Mexico with the U.S. and the one behind me is called the Bridge of Santa Fe. Uh, this is the one I just used to enter Mexico and I am now in Ciudad Juarez. Welcome to Mexico. There are many places where to begin every day, and but there's a one which is particularly special, which is a place right behind me, right here, El Burrito Crisotomo. Uh, this is actually a car wash, but the burritos are very famous within the city. They've got 10 to 12 flavors from which to choose. So let's give it a try. Among different flavors, there's one called uh, puerco and salsa roja, which is basically big meat dipped in a red sauce that comes out of uh, California chili. Now the chili is green, and once it's dried, it becomes red. It's a little bit spicy, has some onion, and a very nice flavor to it. So now we're in a marginal area of Ciudad Juarez and we're heading to a place called Casa de Adobe which is historically famous because it was a military housing for great commanders in Mexico's history. Um, the place is actually located right beside the border so this water that you see here is Rio Grande. Uh, there you've got an immigration car from the US and that's the border right beside the other fence so those mountains are already in El Paso. So this is Rio Grande right behind me. Not much of a big river but hey world famous. Now the house is actually very small and most of the furnishings you can see here were actually brought in by collectors. Yes. But it, right? But it does actually depict a lot of the history. There's famous photographs and paintings. Over here we've got the man in question. He's the one on the right, Arturo Madero. This is the leader, mm -hmm. Francisco Madero. And that uh, was... Máximo Castillo. Yeah, who was kind of a soldier friend slash bodyguard. Exactly. Right. Yeah, it's interesting to know that there was also an Australia who, an Australian who played a very important role in the, in the battle. And well, this is the comforts that they had to deal with. It said that Madero actually slept in a hotel in the U.S. on the other side of the border, as did other leaders later on, such as Pancho Villa. Okay, now let me show you something interesting. Right behind me there's a structure or a landmark, which actually limits the border between Mexico and the U.S. So this means, and New Mexico as well. So this means that, see this line right here? On the left side, I'm in Mexico. And if I step on the other side, I'm in the U.S. Now, if you look a little bit behind me, back in the distance, you're going to see a police car. <laughs> These guys are probably checking me out. 
and there's what is called like a tolerance area there's these yellow things back here yeah. and I'm gonna step on the other side and see what happens because I've been told that they might come over okay so I'm just gonna test it there's a monument right here these are the borders and now I'm already fully within the US but from what I see nothing can happen right behind me is the Asarco chimneys and over there we've got a real road train okay now let me show you something interesting right behind me is Rio Grande and I just learned that actually Rio Grande is called such in the US uh, but in Mexico it's called Rio Bravo so this point right here is exactly where the river begins to delimit or limit the borders between Mexico and the US so this means that the buildings you see over there a white building um, that's the US already in particular that's the city of El Paso you can see that there's some people here just going for a bath the water is not particularly clean but again this is a marginal area within Ciudad Juarez which of course is not that good so we're on the way to the sand dunes right now and our guide left us behind but we just got up with him the sand dunes are right there About 30 minutes south of Ciudad Juarez lies the desert of Samalayuca. This is the only desert in Mexico. And as you can see, it has dunes, sand, and everything you would expect. Nowadays, it's a popular tourist destination, and people come from all over the world to practice sandboarding, a recent champion being a Brazilian. famous because uh, margaritas were invented here so what a better place to end today's episode than zipping I'm here with Cynthia who's been my guide on today she's been taking me everywhere thank you very much and well let's do what people have come to do here cheers until next episode happy travels